Hey guys, I'm so excited to be doing this video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a trench coat that I bought off AliExpress today. The color looks good so far. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so nice. This is such a nice color. This is exactly the color that I wanted. Oh my god, first impression so far is so good. I hope it fits well. This material so far is amazing. It's just a really nice water resistant, you know, heavy material. It's not um, like a cottony blend like I've seen in some other trench coats that wrinkle easily. It's not like that. It's a very nice kind of wrinkle free material. Definitely water resistant, definitely a heavier material. So not something that's super light and that's not going to keep you warm in the springtime. This is a nice sort of thick material. It looks so nice, you guys. I cannot wait to try this on. Okay. I had a couple of hesitations with buying this coat. One was the sleeve length. Some of the reviews said that the sleeves didn't quite reach the wrist. So when I try it on, that's one thing I'm gonna be checking for. The other thing is the belt. Apparently the belt on this is really long that it almost goes double over. But when I went to the stores, I had the same issue with some of the coats that I tried on there. So that's not a huge deal for me. I'm so excited to try it on. I hope it fits nicely. I hope I love it. So far, so good. Okay, let's try this on. Oh my gosh, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice. Okay, so first impressions with the jacket is that I really like it. I love the color, I love the material, I love the fit, the fit is perfect, the size is perfect. It's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. Definitely on the downside is the sleeve length, and that is one of the things I was worried about. So the sleeves, yeah, they don't come up to my wrist, they're just a couple of centimeters off. I wish they were longer because I, I do have long arms. I'm 5'9", so if you're shorter, this might not be an issue for you. If you don't have long arms, then this might fit just fine. But because it is a coat that I'm gonna be wearing primarily during the spring, you know, it's not, um, I'm not too worried about having a little bit of extra skin around my arm exposed. So that's not a huge deal. If anything, I might just be even kind of pushing up the sleeves like that a little bit, you know? The belt loop is, I really like wearing it like this. It is, um, it's not as long as I thought it was going to be. The way people were saying is that it was just kind of ridiculously long, but it's actually, it's just as long as any other belt that you would find in a store here in Canada for a trench coat. You guys, I love this coat. I've just been looking at myself in the mirror and getting a, a better sort of glimpse of it. I absolutely love this coat. It was It's pretty much exactly what I wanted, minus the a bit shorter of the sleeve length. This has major Burberry vibes. It looks like a Burberry trench coat. Here's what it looks like with the collar turned down. Okay, this coat is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's so nice, it's nice. What a relief because that is the worst feeling. If you get something and you don't like it and then you can't really you know take it back, you're stuck with it and it was 50 US dollars. It's not a small amount to me, so loving this coat. Okay, does it not look so good? Oh my gosh, I feel this looks so good. This looks so good! Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I just love the coat even more because I know that I got such a good deal out of it and I know that this would have cost, in Canada this would cost at the minimum $300, probably more. Okay, let me take you through some of the features of this coat. So, it does have a storm flap like Burberry coats or a lot of French coats do have, not all of them. You can wear the coat, of course, buttoned all the way up, or you can turn the collar down for this look. The belt, you can wear it tied up, or you can wear it like I have it here, looped around. There's two pockets on the side, and the length goes a couple of inches above your knee, which is perfect. I didn't want it below the knee, or anything too long, you know, at the knee. I wanted it just a little bit above, so this is the perfect length. I didn't want it too short, because I did want some coverage for those rainy days here on the West Coast. The only other thing, actually, that this trench coat is missing is a hood. I wish that 
there was a hood, at least one that you could attach on. Size-wise, I'm a medium in Canada, US. I'm a size eight in the US and a size 12 in the UK. Here, I ordered an XL. But yeah, let me show you the gorgeous plaid lining on this. Like how Burberry is this, right? The quality of this is amazing. I'm actually, I'm very impressed. I would love to hear your thoughts on whether you think this could pass as a dupe for a Burberry yeah. trench coat. Let me know if you like it, what features you like or don't like. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think that this suits me or not. I personally am loving this coat. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this review was helpful and maybe helped you make a purchasing decision about this trench coat or others. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are into buying things off AliExpress, then definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to probably continue to be doing hauls like this. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and happy shopping.